everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to give you a little bit of an understanding of the uh, Michaelis-Menten equation which is the equation that we are dealing with when we are looking at enzymes. So let's write the Michaelis-Menten equation and we said we have the rate of the reaction equals Vmax times the substrate concentration divided by Km plus the substrate concentration. We said this one here, that is the rate or the speed, how fast the enzyme can turn over and can process the substrate. We said Vmax, that is the maximum rate that is the maximum rate at which this enzyme can process. Km, we said, is a specific constant. So, specific constant. And this is specific for each enzyme and each substrate. And this one here, that is the substrate concentration. So that's the substrate concentration. And while I was driving in this morning uh, to work, I thought, is there a better way to uh, give you an intuition about this michaelis menten equ equation? What does it actually mean in layman's terms? And I thought, while I was driving, okay, I've got a rate. This is my speed. That's my velocity. Now, I'm driving a very small car, so usually my rate is not very high. It might be, you know, maybe 50 miles an hour or so. Now, my Vmax, as I said, I'm driving a small car. This is the maximum speed my car can go maximum speed and my car probably can't go faster than say 80 miles an hour now of course it depends how hard i press the uh, accelerator uh, if i press it uh, very lightly then not much fuel is going into the combustion chamber and uh, it uh, goes slower. So how much fuel uh, goes actually into the chamber? And of course, my rate also depends on the fuel efficiency of my car. Fuel efficiency. See? And how much fuel goes in, into the chamber, into, into the motor. And with that, we really have a nice equivalent. So what we have here, the fuel, that would be the substrate. The maximum speed, that is our Vmax. And the fuel efficiency, that would be our Km. Now, what does this actually mean? Okay, let's let's do a sort of uh, a speed versus fuel. So, speed versus fuel plot. Now, when I'm standing and I'm not moving, uh, there's no fuel consumption, well, given that I don't do anything silly. Now, I add fuel by pressing the accelerator and my speed will go up. It will go up, it will go up. But then there comes a point where my speed will no longer proportionally to the fuel consumption go up. It will sort of plateau off. So even if I 
add more fuel if i step down on the accelerator more and more my speed won't increase because i've reached my if you like i've reached my maximum speed so this would be my maximum speed here of course my maximum speed really depends on what kind of engine i have so vmax depends on the engine and on the on the size of the combustion chamber the bigger the engine the bigger engine the faster the car goes so the faster we are going now what does this mean for our enzyme well we can say that vmax the maximum speed of the reaction depends on the obviously we don't have any engine in enzymes but it depends on the enzyme concentration enzyme concentration so if i double the enzyme concentration my vmax will double if i half the enzyme concentration vmax will half so enzyme concentration and vmax are directly proportional to each other and i can write vmax equals sort of a constant let's call that k times enzyme concentration total enzyme concentration whatever i have in enzyme here so that is the total enzyme concentration and if i increase the enzyme concentration by two then of course my vmax will increase by two <laughs> 